Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I might be looking way too deep into this and I hope this is the case because I, I can't stand to see this to Mithra, alright? But Pyra and Mithra may actually be dead in the DLC and if that's true I'm gonna be so sad because I need to see Mithra in the DLC, alright? If Mithra's not there, I'm not buying it. I don't care. If Mithra is not there, I'm boycotting the DLC because y'all can't do my girl like that, alright? But the reason why I think Mithra and Pyra are dead in the DLC is because of this screenshot right here. Now, this actually tells us a lot and it's a very small detail, but if you look, the hilts on Pyra and Mithra's swords are way different than what they actually are, especially with Pyra's you can uh, definitely tell the difference. So this makes me think that they're actually replicas. Those are replicas of the Aegis swords and not the actual Aegis swords because if you look they're kind of similar to Shulk's re replica Monado hilt and it would make sense for the hilt in the whole Monado for Shulk to be different because he made that himself. There's really no reason for the hilts of the Aegis Swords to be different if they're the same Aegis Swords. They wouldn't just change the design like that for no apparent reason. So that means that the far less likely option is that Monolith just decided to change the designs for some reason. Or those are replicas that Shulk helped Rex make in like memory of Pyra and Mithra. And maybe that explains why Nia has like the spirit ghost uh, Aegis Swords and those are like the actual Aegis Swords. But since Pyra and Mithra are dead, you can't really use their power so they're kind of just there. Um, another little theory could be that uh, Melia or Nia is just holding the Aegis Swords and they just made replicas for Rex to use. But if that were the case, why wouldn't uh, Mia just give Rex the Aegis Swords to fight off Elvis? Because Elvis is clearly the biggest threat, you know, to Ionios or the combination of one and two's world, wherever they are. Uh, Elvis or Rex and Mia and Shulk, everyone knows how strong Elvis is and uh, the power that he can hold. So wouldn't it make sense for Rex to have as much power as he can to fight off Elvis, hence giving him the actual Aegis Swords. So hopefully this is not what it means and it's just a redesign because I don't see any reason why they would redesign something like that. If Monolith Soft did redesign them, there's very clearly a reason for it because they do everything in this series deliberately and for a reason. All right, no, there's no coincidences. I always say, Takahashi does not do coincidences. So the hilts are obviously different. So the biggest, the biggest theory, I guess, or possibility is that they're just replicas because uh, since Pyra and Mithra died, their Aegis Swords went with them. And Rex just made replicas in order to continue, you know, fighting. So. I really hope this isn't the case because I cannot try to see Mithra dead, alright? Or what if they die during the DLC and then we get the replicas? That is gonna be so sad. But I don't know, this is this isn't really likely, but I was gonna say Monolith Soft would keep Pyra and Mithra alive because of how popular they are and they know it would destroy the fan base if they were actually dead, but Although I do think Monolith does care about the fan base, I don't think they're gonna uh, base the DLC around it, like fan service, to keep Pirate Mythra alive. But they kind of did that with the end of Xenoblade 2, but again, they didn't, you know, the game had just come out, they didn't know the fandom's attachment reaction to Pirate Mythra. So, Hopefully this isn't the case, but it's very very possible that they are dead 
and those swords that Rex is wielding are just replicas. But um, yeah, just a short little video I wanted to make. A, a nice little detail that actually a friend of mine on Twitter, Treyon right here, he noticed this and told me and I was like, oh shit, you might actually be right. So I just kind of wanted to make a little video about it. So shout outs to the big homie Treyon. Uh, go follow him on Twitter. So, but yeah, that's that's really about it. Hopefully, I'm wrong, cause I don't want this to happen. But um, yeah, that's really about it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Stay safe. Be well. And play some goddamn Xenoblade.